hello again and we're back with uh, build update number three okay and uh, build update number three we're getting steps uh, starting on step 16 of the construction and we're going to get it finished off there's only another uh, five steps left there is quite a lot in those five steps but um, like I said what I'll do is I'll stop after each step we'll have a quick look at it anything that crops up that uh, I find difficult, uh, awkward, problems that might be there, um, you know, uh, if the instructions are wrong, anything, anything at all that pops up that, you know, might be of interest, we'll discuss that and, uh, you know, we'll carry on then, get the next step done and, you know, we'll eventually get it finished then. So hopefully by the end of this, this, this video, we, we'll have it constructed okay and then we'll get on to the painting the weathering and all of that at a later stage so um as soon as i'm ready we'll get down to the bench and we look at step 16 finished okay I haven't even started it yet no i haven't started step 16. so i'm going to get step 16 done okay so hold on. i'll just take the camera here look oh, oh. bring the camera around quick look at john's bench there uh, for disorganized chaos. Okay. Right. Step 16. Uh, we put a bit of light. Whoa! Bright light, bright light, bright light. Okay. Step 16. Right. We're working. There's step 16. It's actually quite a quite a large step. Step 16. Okay. We're working on uh, the mud guards, putting in a lot of P kind of supports and struts and things. Okay, um, we've got all four of those one, two, three, four, and it kind of gives us, you know, front, left, front, right, back, and front. Okay, um, there are steps anyway that I'm going to get done. Okay, it's just all basically, it's just putting on a lot of PE, really, by the looks of that. Um, we look at steps, the first part of it there, we've got uh, anything marked P is PE, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six bits of PE to go on there. You get a choice here of uh, number plates, right? Onto the front, then front left, we've got our uh, no tech light, the control, sort of the uh, support around it. We've got the um, that little divisional flag thing, mud guard again, um, fitting on all those little bits and pieces. Um, on the front right, then we've got the um, the, the that little indicator there. These the oops, lazy. These things here. Get over the light there. This yoke here. It's basically that the driver knows where the front of the uh, vehicle is. They're just little indicators. That's what they have. They stick up and show, you know, the, where, the, where the front of the vehicle is because they can't really see that from the driver's position. They can't see the front of that. So they stick that thing up and you know, it gives a marker as to where, where where the front of the vehicle is when they're driving. Um, like on the other side then and the back then we've got the same again we've got the uh, little bits of PE support thing hold on sorry yeah we've got PE bits and pieces to go on there as well okay so by the looks of that we've got number two number plates to go on why I do not know but we have them anyway okay so there we go there's our uh, our four pieces that we've got to kind of build up and move on along with. So, I'll be back in a sec. I'll have all of them done, marked off. We'll have a look at them, like I said, and we'll decide, uh, you know, what was awkward, anything that stuck out, and um, and basically that's it. Then we'll move on then. Okay, so, just bear with me. I'll get them done, and we'll have a look at them. Okay, so as you can see, because they're all marked off after getting it all done okay tons of PE loads of little folding and um, 
it was it was awkward that's all I can say about it it wasn't um, there was one or two pieces that were a little bit more awkward than others um, but overall overall it went it went together quite well this was the most the hardest of them all it was building up that little cage believe it or not and it wasn't even PE it was just ordinary plastic and I'll show it to you I'll show it to you here okay it's the little cage around the um, the no tech light now as you can see the second even the no tech light is after drooping on me I must try and fix that get it back up again but that whole area there was uh, was, was quite difficult to do um, if I can get Okay, as you can see, there's, there's quite a lot in just that little section there. Um, it's extremely fragile, but that little cage was, was very hard. Um, I didn't build it up as a separate a separate thing. Okay, what I did was, I did my no-tech light first, put that on. Then built the cage around it, okay. Um, I put on this piece first here, that's the centre piece, it goes from the front round to the back, then added on the two sides. I found that easier to go that way, okay. Um, it just, that's the way it worked for me, and I just found that that little bit easier. Like I said, i got to straighten out the no tech light, but that, that'll be easy enough, because it's just the one piece, just try and ease it up slowly. Another little blob of glue just to kind of reset it, basically. But um, that all went together quite well, and uh, we also have step 17 done, which is our wheels made. Okay, there's two different sets of wheels. Um, it gives us make two of these and two of these, two fives and two sixes. So I marked the fives. I didn't mark the sixes because once the one side is marked, you don't need to mark the sixes. Okay, um, with the wheels, you don't glue in the centre little piece. So. It'll roll along, it'll go vroom vroom, you can vroom vroom it for a finish. But um, there we go, there's step 16 and step 17. We have uh, lots of little pee under there, okay, just little struts, little supporting struts within it, okay. They're all in. Now, I suppose you could say that. In fair, all fairity, they could have been quite easily moulded into it. Okay, they could have, they could have very easily been moulded in, but they weren't. The PE, you got to do them. Um, you could have even sort of skipped them out because you're not going to see them under there. You know, but again, like I said, um, you know, it is. It, it's up for you to decide whether you're going to do it all or not. Um, I decided when I started this kit that I'm going to do every little bit of PE that I possibly can. I'm going to make an attempt at it. If it breaks in my uh, attempts, then it breaks in the attempts. But there is, there, there is, believe me, you, there is plenty of PE on this. Uh, no shortage of it whatsoever. Um, it is quite fragile, very, very fragile. So be careful when you, if you do make this kit, be careful in in lifting and moving it around. Okay, so. That's step 16 and 17. Next up, we've got step 18. Right? Now, step 18 has us putting on our wheels, but I won't be doing that. Okay, I'll be skipping that till after the painting because I want to paint the whole thing and then put on my wheels. Because if you put on the wheels now, there's areas you won't get into, but you can get, kind of be able to see in there and things like that. So I paint and weather my wheels separately. Same with the uh, this here with the uh, spare wheel so for the time being we'll be skipping step 18 okay step 19 shows the alternative set of wheels basically right there's a different set of wheels if we want to use the uh, the, the, the 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 open wheels okay these are one set there's two different sets of wheels um, I think they give it in the and this, they use it. This, this, this version down here has them. The, the, um, the truck style road wheels. Okay. So if you're building the one with the truck side style road wheels, they're the wheels to do for that one. So, like I said, step eighteen, 
sections of it we won't be doing because we, we've already got our wheels made and it's got us fitting our wheels which we won't be doing because again like I said for painting purposes so that's the page we've got to worry about for a while right step 19 oh ho, back into the PE again okay We're getting all the little uh, the little fiddly bits in for it right we've got uh, ammunition boxes and our ammunition okay um, you know don't get me wrong I don't mind doing work if it's if it's required okay if it is required now with these boxes here these boxes here you've got your ammunition inside in them now you can make this openable and closable okay now I'm going to attempt it I've never done this before I've seen it done they're flipping tiny I got big sausage fingers my eyesight ain't the best and I'm going to attempt it if it works out it works out and I'll be able to open and close the boxes but if not you know don't hold it against me lads I'm not a, I, like I said I'm not an expert I am um, I try I try okay um it seems pretty pretty complicated we've got the um this load it's nearly all PE actually um we've got decals for it then for finish so we've got our two little ammunition ammunition boxes like I said I'm going to attempt to do it with the PE with the openable and closable boxes it's going to be fun but hey if it works out it works out if it doesn't it doesn't you know all right step 20 then we've got the uh, jerry cans okay we've got more PE we've got jerry can holders okay two different types okay one for the sides one for the the back now I don't know whether that's yeah it's one or the other you can either have them this style or the uh, or this or this style okay as I said, I'll decide as I go along. I'm not sure which will which will go, which I'll do first. Um, I suppose it depends which way the PE works out. If if I can do the PE or not. Um, the jerry cans themselves seem fairly straightforward. There's a bit of PE in the middle. Why I do not know, but there is a little bit of PE in the middle. We've got our uh, our separate handles and our our tops. No, they look quite nice. They, they, look, they look very, very nice, I must say. But uh, are they a little bit over-engineered? Yeah, you know, with this bit of pee in the middle. Yeah, who knows. But um, fitting-wise, I don't know which set, which way I go for. I, I think myself I'll be going for this way. Okay. Mounted onto the side. This version here. Okay. I like I, I, I like that that the way they are as opposed to the sort of the the, the u-bolt type so I'm going to try and get these ones done okay um, we've also got to fit a um, a jack okay so we've got a jack to do as well so I work ahead I'll get 19 and 20 and see what we can do with them and we'll see how it ended up. <laughs> I'll show you whenever I'm done. Okay. Right. Okay. We are back again. And like I said, step 18 there is all putting on the wheels. And with the wheels, I'm, um, shall we say, I'm putting them on later on. I'm putting them on after the, uh, after the painting. For a second, how silly of me. Yeah. Okay, there's nothing really there apart from this little piece down here, which is optional P38. But I am putting the spare wheel on. Okay, that is, if you're not putting the spare wheel because the spare wheel is an optional part, you have a chance to put on this job. But I'm putting on the spare wheel, so don't worry about that. Right, then we get on to these here the little ammo cans. Now they're lovely, they really are, they're very, very nice. We've got intricate little bits of PE here okay very very intricate okay 
make that out there. Now you're going to make up the handles, bit of bending. You've got the uh, the shells and all that. Okay, they've got their own little decals and everything. Okay, right. They even come in their own little sprue. Okay, and and the box is moulded out and all for you. It's very very nice. Absolutely gorgeous. Right. So I said, Grand, where do they go? Okay, once you've been made, where do you put them? Because I, I, I read through the uh, the instructions previously, and, you know, flicking over and back when you're building things and things. I haven't spotted them at any stage. Now remember, you've got your inside all sealed up. Okay, you've got the inside, it's all done. So I looked down here, okay, there's nowhere for them to be fitted there. So they may be on the next page where the gun is. Okay, so you build up your gun. You build up the uh, protecting plate in the front. Okay, the shield, whatever you want to call it. Your turret. Fitting your gun goes into the turret. Great stuff. End. So where do you put it? Hmm. I said to myself, now that would be very very nice if you were building a little diorama for it and you had figures and all that to go with it and you could have you know a box open and they're playing with the shells or something. But apart from that, you're going to build it and you're just going to go, all right, put it into your spare parts box. So I'm going to I'm not going to build them, I'm just going to put them aside and I will keep them in my spare parts box, unbuilt, okay, along with what's left of the PE that's got to go into them, okay, we've got PE here, so when the, there's a little holder for the shells, you see it, a little holder for the shells there, um, there's the little yokes there for building up the handles and the, the, la, the, la, the la, latches. <laughs> oh God, I couldn't get that out. I had to kind of kick myself to get that one out. So I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to bother. Um, enough said. Right. Case closed. Not going to bother. So now we're on to the last stage. Okay. Step 21. Because the next stage then is, is the painting. So the last step of the building. Step 21. And as we can see, it, it is quite busy, okay. Um, we're working on the gun, the breech for us, um, the mountings for us, the shield, okay. Um, all the mountings there. We've got the little turret piece then, and that all fits into it, okay. Now, by the looks of it, the turret piece is a separate thing. The gun doesn't sort of fit onto the turret piece. The, tor the gun fits on up here and sort of slides back. So the gun fits there as a separate, uh, a separate item from the turret. I don't get that. I thought it was all kind of interconnected, but after looking at that, it's not. The turret seems. Uh, separate from the actual gun itself the gun gets mounted in the centre of in the centre of this piece here. Okay there's no marks for it where it goes. But the gun will go there and the turret then sort of is, a, is more of a protection little thing around it. Um and the gun will kind of traverse on its own on its own little base. So I'm going to go on ahead and I'm going to get all that done, okay, and then we'll have a look at it, we'll see what it all looks like, and then we'll start the painting of it. So I'm going to finish off that, we'll have a look at it, a little bit of discussion, that'll be the end of this uh, this video, in the next video then we'll be, uh, we'll, be, we'll be getting it all painted up. So, I'll get on, I'll get that done, and like I said, we'll have a look at it, a look at it. Okay, so here we are. Construction is finally finished. Oops, keep moving the camera. Bumping off everything. 
Okay, construction's finally finished on this uh, Bronco SDKFZ221 Lyther Panzer Schwabwagen SPZB41. Okay, I presume the SPZB41 refers to uh, refers to the gun here. Okay. Um, overall, it was enjoyable. It was. It was enjoyable. Um, Oh, the kit is beautifully detailed. Um, it, quite tricky in parts, I must admit. It was quite tricky in parts. Well, not tricky, but just intricate, shall we say. Intricate. Yeah, very, very fiddly. Loads of little um, things. Like even, even these keep getting bent. Um, beauty, because when you lay it down, I, I should sort of put it down on something like that. Okay, so that the... Um, the PE fenders aren't, you know, touching off the ground because all it has to do is just when it lies like that, it's kind of resting on the fenders. Um, plenty of PE for those that like PE. Okay, um, we have the PE holders here on the uh, jerry cans. There's PE in the center of the jerry can. The PE ring around it. Um, Loads of little pea struts and things under the mud guards. Um, we have the mud guards themselves, or the mud flaps, we call them. We call these the fenders. Um, you've got the uh, pea inside here on the uh, exhausts. We have the little sort of water deflectors, which we call, you know here on the windows and on the top and over on this side here we had a lot of PE here with this with the um, the no tech light and stuff okay um, if you remember when I showed the no tech light the last time the, the light was kind of drooped a bit but it's back to normal again now okay fabulous interior on it absolutely beautifully detailed interior okay um, not that you can get to see very much of it now, but it's all there. It, uh, the P, it, it, it's, uh, it is quite detailed. Um, I'm going to have the doors open on it, just so you can get to see some of it, because it's pointless, you know, doing a fabulous interior like that, painting it all up, then closing everything off. You know, that that's, uh, sort of defeats the purpose of doing doing all the interior. Okay, you know, what's the point in doing it? Then you're going to cover it all up. Um, one or two other things with, that I've noticed with this kit, you do get the um, the turret section and the weapons. Okay, if you want to do say an ordinary two two one without this uh, big gun with the ordinary um, gun on it. Okay, it's, it's got a I don't know what caliber it is, but it's a large one there, and you've got the um, MG34, so you get a choice of you know weapons on that one, okay. And it gives all the little bits and pieces for it, uh, loads of other little uh, spares, shall we say. It gives you a choice of road wheels, okay. These are they've called them the truck style road wheels, okay. Um, the other set, then I have them done here, okay, which are these ones. They're the, uh, the the road wheels which I will be using. Um, the centre will go around, so when they're kind of glued into place, the wheels will turn. Okay, we can room room it. We can room room it. Okay. Uh, beautiful detail on the doors. There's the inside of the doors. So you got the latches and the handles and things like that. So it's it's quite you know, quite nicely detailed. Very very nicely detailed. Okay, and. Uh, gives you the option of having the doors open or closed on them as well okay I'm going to have the doors open on it so next step for me that's the end of this video but the next video now will be will be getting on with the painting and the awkward thing is going to be sort of masking off these big gaping holes so you know for the doors it's easy enough what I'll do is I'll just I'll just pop the doors into place okay pop into place use a bit of um, 
blue tech even just a tiny little bit of blue tech inside of that and kind of keep the doors closed but I'm getting them painted so I'm not really worried about them too much um, here because I can't be I suppose you could use a bit of masking tape but try and get in there with a bit of masking tape okay on the inside to mask there um, this section up here I can just sort of fill with a bit of tissue paper or something like that but we also have this bit down here okay whereas we've got that and there's nothing underneath it so if I go spraying a darker color in there obviously it's going to get through so I'm gonna to have to try and mask in there okay um, number of ideas I could stuff a little bit of paper I could pop the, um, the take the turret piece off and you know mask that get in there and mask off that and then pop the turret back on and then paint that so there's um you know there's, 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 there's plenty little areas that are going to be kind of pretty awkward to get into but we'll get we'll do it we'll get in there we'll get it all sorted um as i said i'm going for the german gray okay i think it's called german gray is it oh, i have it there yeah, XF63 is the colour I'm going to be using on that German grey XF63. Um, so that's it, that's the overall uh, model finished construction wise. Next step, like I said, is the painting and the uh, weathering and the decay, the putting on the decals and all that kind of thing. So I'm going to leave it at that. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe the channel if you haven't already subscribed and if you have already subscribed thank you very very much i do appreciate it i really really do so up and down shooty thing it's a pity it, it, they don't make it that you can kind of you know turn it but uh you know i suppose that's a, we're lucky enough that it go, will go up and down <laughs> so the shooty thing goes up and down uh, and the wheels go round and round so you know it's it's nice it's very very nice like I said I did the um, the Tamiya version of this which had no interior uh, very mediocre figure um, it had the uh, you know that aerial thing on top I, I, I don't know whether it was a 221 or a 222 I can't really remember I must, must check back and see I suppose I should have checked before I did the bloody video been able to tell you what exactly what it is but anyway that's it for this one okay I'll catch you on the next one lads stay safe enjoy your modelling and uh, don't forget to stay tuned to the channel one day we'll have the bum and uh, next week hopefully we'll have the uh, the update done on the painting of this vehicle and uh, if not we'll be very very close to finishing it anyway so thank you all again and uh, i'll catch you on the next one lads stay safe and don't forget go out and buy yourself a kit build it and enjoy it's john signing off and saying catch you on the next one